Hello, this is Josh, and you are watching a video tutorial on BlindHog.net. Today's tutorial, we're going to continue working on the Virtual Voice Lab. Uh, the Virtual Voice Lab is started uh, back in 2008, and um, it's been in kind of a stale mode. I've had problems with my home lab, uh, big projects at work. Just uh, it's been hard to find time to actually focus enough to to continue on with the project, but anyway um, I'm back at it again so hopefully I can stay focused and you know get some good more some good tutorials um, out of the lab today we're going to add the PSTN router um, to the lab so far we have the headquarters branch 1 and branch 2 and this PSTN router is going to simulate the uh, public switch telephone network as well as the internet for these branches. So it will have an ethernet connection to headquarters with its own um, you know, IP scheme. It will have an ethernet connection to branch 1, also have an ethernet connection to branch 2, and a, uh, the, the physical local area network. Uh, my home uh, network. So the default gateway for headquarters will be you know 12.34.56.1 branch 1 the default gateway will be the PSTN internet router and the default gateway for branch 2 will also be uh, the PSTN internet router. So let's get started here I have GNS3 already started. I'm going to pull over uh, 3725 router. Change the host name on it to PSTN Internet. Just kind of okay. I'm going to select, well, actually before I get started on connecting everything up, I need to add a 16-port uh, Ethernet switch module to this router. And it's also important that the image that you're using on this PSTN router has cube or IP to IP gateway functionality. Select the network module. That message is telling us that we have to use manual mode to connect interfaces. So on the PSTN internet router, I'm going to select Fast Ethernet 0, which is not on the 16 port network module, to connect to the local area network. Okay. I guess before I do that, I need to add a port on the switch. I'm going to add port 5 and connect the PS10 routers fast Ethernet 00 to port 5 on the switch. I'm going to connect fast Ethernet 10 to the headquarters router. Fast Ethernet zero or zero slash one. I need to make Fast Ethernet one slash one zero slash one and slash two to zero slash one. So Fast Ethernet zero slash one on all three routers is um, the internet facing interface. Okay. Let's start the PSTN router. Let's give a little time to start here.
the no login console command to turn off all these error messages. Okay, and this is the interface connecting to the local area network. And give a description of uh, this land. And 10.10.10.253 is an open address on my network. It may be different on yours. Interface fast Ethernet 1 slash 0. No shutdown to enable. No switch port to make it a layer 3 interface. Start the let's start all the routers here. Okay, so I'm able to ping uh, my physical router on my uh, local area network, so that's good. I'm just going to go ahead and configure the interfaces for branch 1 and branch 2. I'm also going to add a default gateway to send traffic with the internet to uh, the default router on my local area network. Configure headquarters router. I guess it's still booting up, so it'll be just a second. And on this router, I'm basically just going to configure the the interface connecting to the PSTN router, and so that will be fast Ethernet zero slash one. And I'll also add a default gateway. Try to ping the internet router. Okay, so we have connectivity now to the PSTN router. Let's save the configuration. I'm going to branch one now and do the same thing.
Okay, so connectivity is working. Let's see if we can ping uh, headquarters router. Okay, so we, we even have connectivity to headquarters from branch one through the internet. Okay, then configure branch two also. Okay, so I'm pinging the internet router. See if I can ping branch one and branch two. Or branch one and headquarters, sorry. Okay, so from branch two I can ping branch one and headquarters. Save the configuration. Saved. Configuration saved. All right. Well, that concludes this tutorial. Uh, in the next tutorial, we'll work on uh, building the dial plan on the internet router so that we can send incoming calls to branch one, branch two, or headquarters. Thanks for watching. Come back to blindhog.net. Thank you.